Hey YouTubers, I uh, thought I'd take a few minutes today to put together a little video. A couple months ago I promised I was going to do a walkthrough on my boat and uh, I figured today is a good day to do it. It's New Year's Eve and uh, get something out there for you. So uh, this is it, this is my Scout 162 Sportfish. It's an older boat, it's a 1999. It's got a 60 horse Yamaha on it, two stroke. Can't get them no more. It's a good setup. And let me show you. Okay, let's start off at the back. As I said, it has a 60 horse uh, Yamaha four stroke engine, uh, 1999. She runs like a sewing machine. It's got 120, 25 PSI per cylinder and a uh, stainless prop on it. And uh, got a nice jack plate. I love that thing for fishing the shallows. Power trim and tilt. And it has a uh, stainless uh, dive ladder that I use occasionally when I'm down in the Keys mostly. And it's a drive on trailer. I got the bunks. I had the trailer uh, completely redone. I put the posts on and the and the guide-ons so it would be easier to get the boat on the trailer when I'm by myself. Got brand new tires on it. I got bearing buddies. And I put stainless uh, lug nuts on it uh, with uh, anti-corrosion. And I had them put um, fiberglass fenders. That's really nice. Plus, uh, the, uh, the lights on the trailer are LED, and I completely rewired the trailer. The uh, trolling motor is a Minn Kota. It's good enough for the boat. It's a 55, so it pushes the boat good. Uh, I'd rather have a little bigger one, but I'd rather buy a spot lock, GPS spot lock, than buy another manual trolling motor and uh, spare tire this is I got to change this I'd like to have one that's a little wider so when I drive the boat up on the trailer <clears throat> it's a little easier to center up and uh, so we got up front here we have the anchor locker I can't open it up because this is in the way that's my anchor locker. This is forward storage. What I like about this is it's sealed, so nothing it drains to the outside. As you can see right there is a drain plug. So I can actually use this as a fish box for storage. If I catch uh, larger fish, um, I can use this as a fish box. Whereas boats that don't have a drain out through the deck area and you're gonna have blood and stuff it ain't no good this is for a post for a seat up front I really like that I got uh, my cooler JB's fish camp <laughs> and that's where I keep my uh, net and I like to have like a uh, a rubber net because it's easier on the fish if you're not gonna keep them the cloth nets will uh, tear up their scales and maybe kill them I do have a bimini top for this. I just don't have it on right now. Let's go up inside. These are the seats. Not real crazy about the seats because they like hit each other and they'll pinch your leg. They're all right. But uh, they come up and go on posts. Here's a post right here, a post hole right here. And it's about an 18 inch post that raises you up. It's really nice. You can sit down and fish, you get tired. And uh, here's the console. So I have my uh, storage in here where I keep my flares and whatever, you know, life jackets, etc. This is for my live well. Uh, obviously, it says recirculate empty and auto. And uh, my VHF. My VHF radio, 
I use this for when I go offshore. I do go offshore in this boat in summertime, even wintertime, but it's got to be two foot or less and the waves have to be like eight or nine second intervals. It's got to be a good day. And uh, But I will go as far as I've been out five, six miles offshore out of Ponce Inlet in Daytona. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is a whip antenna right here. And uh, it'll fold down, right? So this whole thing will fold down and uh, and be kind of like right along here out of the way if I'm not using it. My GPS, I couldn't live without that boy. And of course your controls, this control right here is for up and down on the jack plate and this control right here is for up and down on the power trim and tilt. She's got uh, side storage and you know, I keep uh, my gaff and just whatever in here. I keep uh, some nets, bait nets if I'm going to be using them and uh, charts and etc. You, you can actually put fishing poles in here, that's what it's for. But it's, I don't know, it, those, it doesn't work as well as it looks for fishing poles. So I don't use it for that. I use it for storage. Same one on the other side. It's nice. And uh, getting to the nuts and bolts part of this thing. This is also storage right here. And um, it drains to the outside also. And uh, I just use this for storage. It I could use it as an ice box, a fish box, but I use it for mostly storage for now. And uh, and also what I wanted to point out is this boat has uh, self bailing. It has scupper holes and you can plug them up. A lot of people don't like that. There's one on each side because when you take them out, you get water in here. If you get a couple of people and a full tank of gas and weight, you will get water in here, but I just leave the scuppers in. Just like a kayak, I leave the scuppers in and I never get no water. This is my live well. This here is what this controls, okay? And uh, I actually have, you can see, I have my aerator set up right now. And I drilled through, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark. But I drilled through from uh, the bilge area and ran this in here because what I use now I use a power bubbles and uh, that thing's fantastic and of course there's my water fuel separator and of course the uh, bilge pump that's the hydraulics for the uh, jack plate. I have an onboard two bank uh, battery charger. And I have a, uh, a deep cell trolling motor battery and a, and a starting battery. And they're brand new. So um, I also have. I also have for the power bubbles, I ran a switch up to an auxiliary switch right here. So I turn this on right here and it turns on the uh, aerator. I, I actually don't even use, hardly ever even use the recirculate empty and auto. I keep it on recirculate because that way it just keeps water in it. The only time I use it is putting water in and emptying water out of it. I don't actually use, you know, if you, if you were, if you were tournament fishing, that would be good because you could put it on auto and when you're when you're stopped uh, or anchored and fishing, you put it on auto and turn it on and it just continuously pumps fresh water through the live well and keeps your, your catch alive. And, and in tournaments, your catch has to be alive when you get to the weigh-in station. But, you know, I just, I practice catch and release now. You know, every now and then I'll keep a fish, but mostly I'll just let them go. Yeah. I, I just enjoy fishing more than I, I'm more of an angler than I am a meat fisherman. But I'll keep them every now and then. So, uh, another thing I wanted to point out, 
is I have my ball mount here so I can mount my GoPro or my cell phone right here facing this way. It doesn't work so go good going that way because you have glare from the windshield. When I'm going facing forward, I put a ball mount right here instead center and I use my GoPro because the field of view is wide and, and I can get myself on the front of the boat. That's basically what you see right here when I'm fishing on the front of the boat. My cell phone don't work because the field of view isn't big enough, but I can use it for doing a, a selfie if I'm driving the boat and I want to talk. So, uh, so there you go. There's the boat. They do a walkthrough on the kayak. I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough on the boat. And Happy New Year. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who took their time to watch my videos in 2017. This is a new YouTube channel. I just started it right at about a year ago. So there's been growing pains, learning to video edit and do the YouTube thing. It's not easy, it's a challenge, but it's fun and it can be very rewarding. I like to share the things I do in my life whether it be fishing, kayak fishing, motorcycling, or whatever that I may think you might want to watch. So again, I want to thank all of my subscribers and viewers for taking time out of your day to watch my YouTube channel. In the, in the future, it will get better as I learn. So, Happy New Year!